subscribe to our solution tips, SOP advice, and ERP glossary. Hello, welcome to the stock item discussions video. Today, we are going to look at our inventory and item measurements. What we are going to focus on today is the inventory master data. And every company has inventory. You can go and look into your inventory master data, whether you are using a spreadsheet to control or you already have an existing system. You must have all this fundamental to make all your structures correct before proceeding to other area. This is very important for most business owner a warehouse user because you don't understand the fundamental your measurements will hit a lot of problems getting out your inventory data in the future make the first step right is always the key when you get your inventory setup started so that you can streamline the stock item process and you do not hit the problem in the future just like when you are building a strong foundation for your house from material to use and what to avoid. Let's take a look at what you should have in the item master now. First, you should have all the item number ready. Some call it a SKU number. You should ha have all these numbers set up for your inventory. A lot of users are not able to define how to design their item number. So at the end of the implementations, they hit problems and then getting messed up with their item code again and again. Does this sound familiar to you too? Next, does your inventory system be able to generate barcode? It can be a 1D barcode or it can be a 2D barcode so that your warehouse user will be able to scan the item using the mobile device to reduce a lot of the human error. Well, there are many other criteria. It will be sharing what you need to look at with your item master here because this master is going to drag pricing info, inventory info, vendor info, purchase info, and planning information. Whatever it could be happen in your operations, inventory is the first priority you should get it up and get it right first. In the item master, you should also have unit price info, for example, your item base price, your list price, your minimum price or quantity discount price for a specific item in your system. Beside the pricing information, they will also have the costing information. It will be capture your inventory average cost, last cost, lender cost, as well as your inventory standard costing. A lot of users are having a problem and not able to define the standard cost for their stock item. So often, they are hit problems in inventory valuations during their stock audit, or they are not able to perform manufacturing goods costing. Well, we can discuss this costing issue in detail in my next video. All right. Other than this, you should also have information like the length, the width, the height, the unit of measures for your item master. You can drill down to your item data to check how often you have been ordered this item. This is really a nice way of looking at your item if you have all this data properly controlled at one place, right? Besides, you could also categorize the item as a sales item so that it is available in your sales order. Or you can categorize it as a purchase item. If you purchase it, right? What if you produce this item? You may need to understand what is the production's approach, whether it should be make to order item or a make to stock item. When it comes to inventory data, it is important to set the base unit measures and also multi-unit of measurements. How is your item has been performing based on the different unit of 
measurements. Other than these, your item master should also handle multiple warehouses. And so you can see what is in stock, what is out of stock, what is committed from sales, what is pending from the purchase order, what has been allocated to job, and by the end of the day, what is available in each of your warehouses. If you are a manufacturer, under your planning data, you have to know whether you are going to buy these items or you are going to purchase this item. And also it will be available for you under your MRP generations. So when you are running your MRP report, you can look at what are the items is actually required to replenish to meet your demand. It can be the purchase lot size, the ordering lead time for your MRP planning. So if you are using these to producing the item, you may already have all these production data control in your system, right? So let's go and take a look at what is going on with your inventory after this video. That's all for today. Thank you very much for listening to me on this quick overview of the inventory master data. Take a look at what you have now. What is missing from your inventory setup and control. Feel free to chat with us if you need to solve your inventory master issue. And the QR code is located at the lower right hand corner of this video. Well, the purpose of this video is to assist your company to get the foundations right. Then we will go into other area to address your daily operational challenges. As always, if you like this video or you learned something new today, give me a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications. My name is Vivian. I love to see you back.